Hi, we wanted to show you what you can do now that you're at Berman to access articles from major papers like the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Washington Post once you've hit your article limit for the month from them. So if you want to read this article out here to the right, it sounded like the world itself was breaking open, but you click on it and you find that you've hit the paywall. What you can do is go back and copy the title of the article. So I'm gonna highlight this text and make sure that you click copy rather than copy link address because you want the text of the title, not the link. And then you go to the library's homepage. Over here on the right, under quick links, you click these lines next to all databases. This is a list of our most frequently used databases at Berman. And the third one in the list there is Factiva. And in this big search box, what you wanna do is put open quotes and notice that Factiva, which has a mind of its own, um, has put close, close quotes there automatically for you. So you wanna make sure that you're putting the title in between those quotes and that you don't add your own set of closing quotes at the end. So you put the title in and you click search. And it pulls up the article for you. You can just click. And here's your text of the article. Notice that it doesn't have the images, which is a, a drawback. So if you really need the images with an article, let us know and we can help you get that. Now, if you would prefer to browse the articles from major newspapers from the past week directly, what you can do is go to news pages up here at the top. And then you wanna to go to Factiva pages. And here you see the list of newspapers that are included. Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Washington Post, LA Times, and so on. And you can select the date that you wanna browse. This is today and the section that you want to take a look at and it will show you the articles and you'll be able to link to them and once again it has the full text and once again unfortunately it doesn't have the images factiva is a fantastic database we're really lucky to have it we've had it for a long time so we are uh, grandfathered in. We have one of the few academic subscriptions still around. It's got thousands of domestic and international news sources beyond just major newspapers. So we encourage you to explore it. Let us know if you have any questions or problems.